gonna make it. Thanks, Katie. I smell good. Hi, guys. <laughs> Wait, Stinky, why are you saying sorry? Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Yes. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Yes. Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? Yes. At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. Cool. Oh, okay. Someone said you smell. Alright. This instruction scene. Oh. Oh, I signed it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even read it. Oh, cute. Okay. Perception is reality. Oof. <laughs> Crush me porn. <laughs> Be daddy. <laughs> huh. It's an innovative way to get the instructions over. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. There's the door. She doesn't let you in. <laughs> it's tiny. Alright. Uh... <sighs> oh, that didn't get as big as I thought it was going to. <laughs> Can I pick up the table? No, I can't. Get it now. So let's put it. Okay. I lied, I don't get it. Confirmed. <laughs> you can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. 
<laughs> Reminds me of Gladys. Hey, Jackie. Hold right, click to rotate, okay. Cheese. <laughs> Good job I can't be killed from impact. Oh, we're supposed to get over there. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, Mouse. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Wait, so I literally can't get anywhere through here? Dear, someone should really sweep that up. Am I the only one who wants to clean that? All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Smash! Smash! Bigger or smaller? <laughs> okay, no. Let's go with smaller. brain. Overbell, do not clean. <laughs> How do I... Just 
destroy everything. Oh no, my first hurdle. Make it bigger. Yeah, but if I make it bigger... Oh! There's no way to crouch. No way to push myself through either. <laughs> it's broke, guys. God, okay, cool. Nice. That's what I was trying to do before. Wait, what? I am very confused. <laughs> I knew this would happen. No, <laughs> oh, it just keeps going. But they all lead back to the same puzzle I just completed. needs to be bigger. I pick it up, it just does a different thing. No, fall over. Go. That way. That way. <laughs> Go on. Oh, no. Not on me. <laughs> oh 
what the hell? <sighs> That's it. Fall over this way. Or not. This is frustrating. That's it, fall this way. <laughs> Why can't I walk into things and make them fall over? Fall. Fall. Nailed it. Didn't even take that long. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. The final doorway is closed for business. What was supposed to do here? Is there something to grab? appears to be a brick wall. Not sure if I was supposed to do that, but hey. I made it out. Nice. Excuse me. Alright. They all lead the same way, that's nice. That was trippy. Those avocado sheets. <laughs> they are ugly. That clock is not the same as the one in my bedroom.
stop playing now. Carry it with you everywhere. <laughs> Will you donate to a charity of my choice if I keep the door with me the whole run? Where I can. So demanding. <laughs> Someone's got to raise money for men's mental health. <laughs> I've wanted to do it for ages. <laughs> oh, that's a trippy room. Okay, I thought I could get through that door, but I cannot. Ooh. 24 hour stream time. Mate, I can't even stay awake for, for 8 hours, let alone 24. So much stuff. That's not my door. That's my door. Twenty-four hours. Okay, okay, and I'll stream for twenty-four hours if you stream with me. Oh, that was weird. for our stream. This is the end of the road door. I'm sorry. music stop. Is it going to be a boss battle? Done it now. I 
I did that. That's cute. Board make much sense. Yes. I are scientist. Me no cow. <laughs> Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. <laughs> okay, then this note so is special, you. in fact, <laughs> that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry. We're working on it. You don't like Glenn. Perspective is everything. I still quite speech. <laughs> so to make something look bigger. Oh, it's a corner piece, okay. I'm supposed to bring it with me. <laughs> oh. Say goodbye to the music, Lemony Cheesecake. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Boo, can I time card in? Or out? Uh... Am I 
I suppose we have to see this this side. Spoil sports. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love his confidence. <laughs> These chairs look awfully comfortable. to anything. Okay, how is that helpful? Oh! Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. I couldn't do that. <gasps> it's big on the inside. <laughs> okay, you like Glenn now, do you? Don't get lost. <laughs> All right. Sounds simple. Seize the day. This is different. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively That's on the standard work. orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. I 
least have one of those monitors. It's huge. Perception is reality. A trick, guys. Oh, yeah, turns out I am. Just peace. Yeah, I know like either. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. It sounds like I do that every three months. Explosive mental overload. <laughs> oh, okay. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Yeah. 
Nailed it. Devil in the elevator. Shh. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Yes. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Uh, this does not look friendly. No. subconscious except for feelings <laughs> revenant <laughs> you see a freezing temperatures <laughs> I don't like this Sinister is going on here. <laughs> Somebody clip that. <laughs> I don't 
never shits her pants. Oh! I'm liking Sunday. Die, die, die. Yet soda. <laughs> oh, there's plants down there. Thank you. over here, I can't remember. No. Oh, that says no. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction.
crouch. Can't, all I can do is jump. Bollocks, and I've lost my light. Oh, there it is. There's a door up there. Nice. Ooh. Did time. you know that unintentional multi dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions <laughs> from the standard orientation protocol. Yeah, no achievement for me. 
<laughs> Guess I'll have to run it through after. How do they need more red paint? Beans! More knives. I'm stuck. Need more beans. Oh, they actually put all the nutritional stuff on there. <laughs> I need the other cam. I start to think I'm not supposed to look out the window. No! Oh, there you go. Fine. It's fine. It's fine.
find me, ladder. Big enough for you, Katie. <laughs> the hell? These beans be shaking. brain does it hurts. <laughs> so does mine, but all the time. <laughs> I'm just glad I've never claimed to be big brain. not very liberating if I can't walk through it. Uh, getting unstable beans. longer freezer flaps. <laughs> Enjoy avocados. Enjoy avocados guys. They're gross. Oh my god that's love alarms. Hey guys it's 6 a.m. Oh no. The squid's back. <laughs> How's this music left? Lovely cheesecake. Better? I need that alarm clock. <laughs> oh, it said two. Music. 
go to 69. <laughs> There you go, well, that's the smooth jazz. Yo. Yeah. Can't have played our life choices. Oh! How many doors can I make? <laughs> Before my PC falls over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emma, stop it. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to get through? Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. It's a smiley face! I want to curse like this all the time. was already crazy. No going about it. Yeah, how are you supposed to move that off? Warning, Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. 
I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Real doctor guys, he went to doctor school. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. <laughs> to the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. <laughs> the thing is, I can still understand what he's trying to say. <laughs> Notice me. Sorry guys. <laughs> you have betrayed us. <laughs> I've missed two levers now. I'm gonna have to do a lever run. Maybe I'll record it and put it on my YouTube channel. Oh, relaxation room. I like relaxation. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Oh, 
I'm tiny. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. Wait. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. How is the telly on? The ring goes. Oh, I wanted to be electrocuted. Never mind. Creepy. <gasps> Jenga, guys. It's good when the fan sounds don't work in a different room. Which means that's not supposed to be in here. What am I missing? Any of the Jenga blocks. There's no higher ways out of here. That door is too small for me to go through. The hell? That 
that's trippy. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. Don't drop the soap. It won't spare you <laughs> from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Jesus. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. No this will that. assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. stressing you out. <laughs> Make it big and walk it. Oh, yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, 
I'm stressing you out, Katie, because I'm not playing right. Okay. Why is there no sprint? on the beams. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be tiny and go into that hole. So we'll put that up there. Very good at this. If you want to make yourself first bigger, then you can place the smaller one easier. First time playing. Sure, I was <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't like being this tiny anymore. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Association. 
Oh no. Oh, it's 3 a.m. again. Nope. Oh. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. I'm a dog person. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. They're crying because they can't get to me. Yes! This is disorientating. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. <laughs> Reformulating. Pardon me. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Wake up. Instruction. Oh. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Wake up, mother. It's dark. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Whee! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was still falling.
Guys, I'm just gonna see what's wrong with my dog. I'll be right back. Dr. Glenn Pierce, thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise.
best corridor. I do not have a big brain. Test looking right first. Oh, okay, so don't look at the dead end. Oh! <laughs> Thanks. It says seven for me. There's no sixteen of you, hey. <laughs> Look at the sign every time. Okay. So you are supposed to go the blink the way the blinking sign is pointing. But but it's the wrong way. have a big brain.
respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Is there a trick to this? <laughs> I'm not seeing any distinct differences between the elevators. Oh, apart from the ones with the signs above the door. Oh. Ooh, arrow. Arrow. Nice! Nailed it. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Stay calm. Oh. Oh, where's the door gone? tricked me. Oh, oh okay, cool. <laughs> I thought I was never going to escape then. There's an alarm clock. Where's the alarm clock? Get the fuck out of here. Oh! The... Level is loading right now. I can read. <laughs> oh, sorry, Kate, I didn't mean to be bossy. <laughs> what I said about the seizure warning. This is highly I unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Music too dang loud. 
scent of burned curry. Conception. I love you too, Katie. Very much. Where is the exit? How dare you not give me free soda? Oh, really? Lol. Okay. Got him. Oh God. Thanks for the diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. There is no object prevention thingy. Hint, hint. My brain is not that big. I'm sorry. <laughs> option brain. Uh. Object prevention. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Did I do it right? Take the room into the room. Oh no, my brain. Oh. Where's it gone? Take the room into the room. <laughs> Everything's taking so long.
That's not how it go big, is it? This is gonna make me smaller. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. That is terminology I can understand. <laughs> but I'm not gonna fit in the room, so if we go like this. Oh no, that's way too big. Yeah, that's a bit bigger. screen. confusing beforehand. I was much confused. Very green. Ooh, code. We're going to the dark side, guys. Oh, the floor's just very shiny. Good. Good, 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 good. good. Not an exit. Clearly. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space.
nasty cough you got there, mate. Spoilers? No, it's not spoilers when I'm an idiot. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. How will we complete the game without you? <laughs>
power of Satan. Yes. Please, Caitlin, lend me your power. And a sprinkle of Glenn power, of course. Wait, you mean Glenn isn't Satan? Have big brain. Oh, there's two red ones now. Acid trip simulator. Yes. Grow a big brain. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Did you mean I've been walking around those corridors for like how many minutes? I could just walk out of the whole thing. Thank you, Kim. I wonder how long I would have kept going around. Oh, yeah. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, That's if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here?
the block changed. Oh no, it didn't. I just didn't see it from that side. Look at that. Blah. Anyone feel sick yet? I'm late for work. <laughs> oh, what? My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, 
Everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. First, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait.
thanks very much guys that uh, concludes the stream I'll see you next Saturday at 3pm where I'm yet to decide what I'm going to play it won't be a puzzle game because my brain can't take in much more <laughs> see you guys